What up guys and welcome back to another one. It's been a long time since I started the video down here in the man cave, but I have to show you something before we get started on this video. Just ordered me up some hats. Oh, that's my favorite right there. Look at that bad boy. And then we got this bad boy in and then that bad boy in charcoal. Oh, then one of my favorites, the gray on white. But just got those in the mail, and I'm like, oh, thank goodness, because I was all out of good hats. My wife was like, man, you can't even wear a good hat out to eat. So now we got us some freshies. If you guys want to pick up any of these hats, I will link them down below. It goes directly to supporting the channel and providing more of these videos. Okay, the, the lighting's like yellow and weird. Let's go outside. Oh, but today, doing something I've never ever done before, and that is shooting starlings. Now, if a lot of you don't know what starlings are, basically, they are an extremely invasive species. The European starling is not from here. Basically, it's been declared invasive by the federal government, and there's no limits, no rules, no nothing, and they love populating on cattle farms on farms just like we're going to today and they will overrun all the feed bunks. They will pick out all the nutritious ingredients in all of the cattle's feed. I mean, they just, they are a bad, bad deal. But I'm not gonna act like I know it all because this is my first time shooting them. We're gonna get straight to the farm and I'm gonna let Jordan explain a lot more. Well, we are here at the farm and there she is. The new gun, you know what I had to do? I had to throw a duck's decal on her right away. There's no waiting for that to be done. If you guys want to pick up one of these decals, I will link them in the description below. Oh man, my shoes are gonna be nasty. It's a farm. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here, and this is where the starlings live. This is where they eat. This is what they infest, is all this cattle, calves, feeding, all the feed. They're, they're in all the feed all the time. So like I said, I'm gonna have Jordan give you a little explanation. He knows a little more than me on the reason why we're able to shoot these birds all the time and why they're invasive and what makes them invasive. Uh, the European starling or the common starling, they are a lot of them. Um, they were introduced, I think in, well, they were introduced in a couple different areas. Uh, one thing I do know is in Central Park in New, New York City. They, uh, I think they released 60 birds. I don't remember exactly when it was. It's been a long time ago, but they released 60 birds, and now I think they estimate there to be over 130 million in North America, Holy something like that. Smokes. Uh, there is a ton of them, and they're an invasive species. They're not native to North America. They're from Europe, and the European starling. The European starling. I, I googled it, and it said everything about the European starling being invasive. And they are—they're mean. They are an angry bird. Um, they like to dwell in holes and like little nooks and corners and crannies and stuff like that. There's a lot of other birds that like to do that too, like bluebirds like to, uh, purple martins, a lot of birds that people really like to see. Woodpeckers, uh, they're really hard on woodpeckers. Uh -huh. But they have this really sharp pointed bill or beak. Um, we'll show you one after a while because we're going to kill one. Um, and they will use this thing like a knife. They will stab and poke and prod. Um, I mean, they will kill little birds for one and they'll beat the crap out of other birds and they'll evict them from nests so they can take over or all sorts of different stuff like that. They are horrible and that's just the native spark. And then on like a dairy like this one, um, up here in the feed bunks, they'll go through and they'll pick out the grain which is the important, a really important part for the cows because that has the most nutrients, the most protein, the most minerals, all that stuff in it. Right. And they eat the good stuff out of it. Right. And they, I mean, here at the dairy alone, earlier this year, um, during the winter, they would come when there wasn't as much food, and there would be groups of literally three to five hundred of them every day. And I, I know the owners here for a long time. Um, they've put out traps. They've put out boomers. They've put out. Um, they're these uh, noisemakers that make the sound of a starling in distress to try and scare them away. They normally work for about a week or two, and then they don't even care anymore. They've actually had the state come in at one point. I think two years ago and they put out poison for them to kill them. They're that bad. Jeez. And so I talked to the farmer the other day. He said, yeah, don't even ask. Just <laughs> come out and shoot them. The worst you can do is scare them away for the day, and that's still a win. So right. even if we don't kill them, just to scare them away and give the cattle a better chance of eating still pays off for the farm. Right. So. Invasive species comes in. It populates extremely fast. 
I mean, rapidly, good. and then it alters the habitat. So whether it's a man-made habitat for cattle to feed them, or a natural habitat, it manipulates that in big bunches, coming in, swarming, eating all the minerals out of food bunks, everything. But I don't even think I told you what type of gun this was. It's my 410, y'all. I got a pump Mossberg 500 410. Jordan actually got one of these bad boys as well. Yep. I won't shoot it today, but I got one, and it's fun. He brought the old Benelli today with the tube on it. He was like, it's a little windier today. I want to make a pile, and I'm like, that's fine. I want to shoot the 410. It's just kind of one of these deals. You keep walking around the farm, keep sniping as you walk, but we're getting up to the area up here. They really like to avoid you, don't they? Yep. They're, not, they're pretty smart. Ooh, oh yeah. I they're see what you're doing there. <laughs> I pick up what you're throwing down. Oh, I'm excited for the 410 pump though. You guys have been requesting me to get a pump shotgun for so long. Oh, I've been spoiled with my semi-auto 12 gauge. So you guys are probably gonna get some laughs at me trying to pump this thing because it's been years since I have operated a pump shotgun. All right, this you is- You wanna be closer to this corner? Okay. Oh, look at this group. Oh, goodness, you just- Oh, some of those oh. are blackbirds though, be careful. Oh yeah, there are a lot of blackbirds. It's gonna be some pick out your bird and shoot it type of deal, huh? If you wanna post yeah. up wherever it gives you a good yeah, window, I'll, I'll, park I'll get right. Here. Yep, I'll get behind this tree. Man, they are so fast, I'm scared to shut off the head mount here. Oh, goodness. Yeah, they're really fast, dude. Holy smokes. I mean, they come over this, they come over this in a hurry. <laughs> that was fun. Jordan was like, dude, I'm telling you, they're really fast. <laughs> right here. Oh, it clicked on me. <laughs> Pump one, Bobby zero. Oh, that was gonna be a good shot too. Oh. Missed again. Oh, that pump. I'm gonna have to get used to that. I'm not even used to racking it right after I shoot. Here comes a good little group right here. Yeah, getting used to this pump is gonna be something else. It's been forever. I think it's probably been a good, I don't know, probably 10, eight years maybe since I've shot a pump. Oh, nice shot, dude. That, I was aiming for that one. I was like, oh yeah, he's gonna come right over. Little old 12 gauge McGee back here just blows him to smithereens. Well, hey, thanks for the backup, dude. <laughs> that was hilarious. That beak I was talking about earlier, look at these things. Look at how sharp and pointy those things oh, are. And wow. they'll actually, they'll open their beak sometimes when they peck to make so it's two of them so it, it hurts more, you can get in further, not as oh, much yeah. resistance. They're mean. Oh, wow. Well, two down, Jordan's on the board. That's why he brought his 12 gauge. I see you. See, there's that boomer again. You hear that? They do anything and everything they can to, to control the starlings out here. They're a true problem. Get him? Yeah. Oh, you did? Oh, man, I'm wishing I had my 12 gauge now. He can reach out there. Nope. Oh. See, I forgot to pump it again. I'm not gonna be good with this thing for a little while, y'all. Come closer, baby. No go. Man, they're out there. They're pretty smart, guys. They don't wanna come right over, that's for sure. Oh, that was a pigeon. I missed him. How did I miss that bird? Look at that. Look at them stacking up. Right, Like I said, right where those cattle are feeding, Oh, swing and a miss, swing and a miss. Well, you scared all them up that were feeding on that feed over there. But look, they're all on the roof right above it. I'm telling you, these are a true pest. It's nonstop. They breed fast, they populate quick, and they can change a habitat from what it's supposed to be. Oh, you winged him, he's down. Nice shot! Now I'm missing my 12 gauge. <laughs> Well, Jordan's gonna move. We're gonna spread out a little bit. He's actually gonna go down by that corner where they see them all. Got him! That boy is dead. Look at that, first one down with the 410. There he is, oh yeah. 
Well, I am on the board. Oh. And I keep forgetting to pump this thing. I think it's cost me a couple shots so far. I'm not good with a pump, y'all. I'm serious. Not used to it. Just haven't used one for so long, you know? Well, we spread out here, and we're having a lot more luck, getting a lot more shots off. Just got the first one down. If you guys are enjoying the video, you got to give your boy a big old thumbs up. We're going to see if we can kick him back and forth a little bit. So I got a uh, cheek full of seeds. You know, we got to keep it real out here. We're out on the farm, baby. We out on the farm, baby. No, but really, it smells great out here. I'm glad that I'm allowed to be out here. Thank you to the owner of the farm for allowing me out here. I know he appreciates us being out here, but this is a lot of fun. Let's shoot. Right here. Missed him. I'm telling you, they are so fast right here. Ah! Ah! Darn it! Oh, darn it. Come on. Come over here. There we go. Oh! Jordan is simply just getting into him over there. I'm going to have to go move down there here in a minute. I mean, he's just getting into him. He's probably killed five or six, I bet, pretty easily. That 12 gauge does a lot better job than the old 410, I'll tell you. The range is just insanely different. Here we go. Oh, I can't hit anything. Oh, I thought I got him. Didn't get him. Wow. Just went through a lot of money in shells there. Oh my god, they're just hard to hit. Oh, that's nice. I was going to pick up. Yep, right in, the, right in the old patty. Let's put that in the pocket. Beth will have to wash it later. <laughs> Sorry, Beth. Alright, we're switching up spots. This is where I showed you all them birds were feeding at. He's been sitting down on the end. How many have you shot down there? Uh, I got four laying down there, but I lost oh, nice. three or four. So we got seven, eight, nine on the ground. Oh, yeah. Somewhere right around there. But I've been watching them, man. They'll swoop over and just land right on the top of here. Yeah. They don't care. No. Look at all these cattle. See? They're in here picking all the good stuff out of your food, aren't they, guys? Them little rascals. Well, got us a new spot right in front of the water and right here where they like to feed. We have brought some of the dead starlings we've shot and put right here for decoys. That's what Jordan's been doing. He said it's been working. Here we go. Can you shoot him right there? Yeah. As long. Oh, he long. landed right with them. Yeah. The only <laughs> here we go. We got two, baby. Oh, I missed him. Oh, you, you hit that one. I seen that. Dude, he just shot over the building all the way over there. That 12 gauge is a big difference. But they like those decoys. Yeah, they do. They do like the decoy situation. They're fluttering right to them, dude. Over the top of you. Yep. How didn't I hit him? Golly, dude. Oh, he's landing with him. He just landed with him. Shoot him. I can't. He's right in front of the cows. All right. We switched up the game plan here. We got the decoys right here. Decoys meaning dead starlings. <laughs> and we got a little panel right here to hide behind. And they are literally just landing right with the decoys here. I mean, it's perfect. Let me uh, stop talking and actually hide back here. I might be able to shoot one. Here we go. Mm, whoa. He did. Nice he is dead. Woo. Second. Head on the box <laughs> Second one of the day for the old 410. Dude, really? Goodness, have some manners. I'm just kidding, gal. You're all right, girl. You just keep doing your thing. <laughs> I heard some running water, dude. And the cow was just letting her loose. Ah! Gosh darn it. That's definitely not the range we need for the old 410. There you go, one coming right down the pipe. Let's hope I have a shell in. Right here. I don't know how I'm missing those birds, dude. No idea. Uh, man, I don't want to shoot that the awning there. I don't want to shoot the awning. 
Just darn it. Going right down the pipe. Ah. Uh. Come on back. Come on back now. I want them to land like they were before, right in our decoys. Yeah, me and the 410. We've only seen eye to eye a couple times today. Um, pretty difficult. Definitely a difficult girl. I'm probably almost out of shells, to be honest. So, I'm going to shoot until I'm out of shells. Once we're uh, out of shells, I guess we're done. Here we go. Here we go. That one. Well, that's three for the 410. Come on now. Come on. Oh, I don't want to shoot the roof. Gear, gersh, darn. <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't get low enough. You guys are sky busting. I mean, goodness. You should let them decoy farther. Why are you sky busting birds? I thought I. Is he? Well, I'm picking shells up out of yummy water. Get him? Maybe? Here we go. Get on over here. Slide on. Oh, come on. Get over here now. You know you want to play? Ah, gosh darn it. That's just a horrible deal. They got to get beneath it. Oh! Not quite. Right in the poop water again. Ah! Oh, I can't hit him, dude. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I was just dancing like a fool. Oh, here we go. Oh! That's a good group right there. <laughs> that one, he like landed right here with the decoys. We are both going. <laughs> here we go ah I didn't want to wait for him to get any closer man a lot of shells a lot of shooting but I've only shot three birds I think Jordan what do you shot like eight nine something like that man they aren't very far right here but they dip and they dive so quick I mean it is rough well wrapping it up here look at that what you got there ten of them ten of them ten of them that's what we picked up anyway yeah that's some what... of there's some tall grass around here and it's kind of hard to find them right but they're an invasive species and you can leave them lay right yep there's nothing I mean you there's... can do anything you want they literally say get rid of them and that is it just get rid of them all of them or as you guys seen up here these poor cows I'm telling you this is where their food is. This is where they come dip their head through the gate and get themselves a bite to eat. And those starlings, they, it's not that they're a big animal, but they populate so fast. So many of them can literally wipe out all the minerals, all the good eating, all the nutritious ingredients in their food. They take it out. They're not dumb birds. They know what they're there to find. They know what they are there to eat. So. There's many reasons. I guess they carry a lot of disease as well. So there you chalk it up. There's 150 reasons why the federal government says get rid of these things. So we're wrapping it up here and Jordan's showing me around the farm. And uh, check this out behind me here. Sometimes it's even in wrappers. Are you serious? You just ate it? Oh, oh fine. I can smell it. That is one big pile of chocolate and chocolate filling and caramel and whatever russell stover's puts into that stuff so i'll be darn so this is a bunch of waste from russell stover seconds the seconds chocolate from so basically this is their throwaway chocolate from russell stover from the factory rework stuff yeah i'll be darn sorry my mouth is full yeah we're we're still out here spitting seeds but this is used as a corn substitute for the cattle not all the corn just some yeah, not all the corn, just a partial substitute, right? Mm -hmm. That is, I never knew that. I never knew that chocolate <laughs> was a replacement. I'm telling you, you walk in the shed here, and all you smell is candy! <laughs> candy, yay! <laughs> Literally candy. Huh. 
Um, I learn something new with you every day, Jordan. <laughs> I'm hoping this thing don't go off while I'm standing here. That's why I'm going up on the back side of it. But right there, that is the propane-powered boomer. What's used to uh, scare all the starlings out of here. That's what we heard earlier. They have two of them here on the farm. We've got two of them out here? Somewhere. I don't think the other one's running right now, but... Well, I hope you guys have really enjoyed the starling shoot here on the farm. If you guys enjoy these farm videos out here on the old cattle farm, shooting starlings, pigeons, and, and if you guys want to see that trapping, the starling trapping video, if you guys want to see that, if you guys want me to do it, I'm really interested in it. I've found two styles of different traps that I want to try out. So if you guys are interested in that, you need to drop a comment down below and say, yes, Bobby, we want to see them. But like always, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for your boy. And like at the beginning of the video, like I said, if you guys want to pick up a duck's hat or a hoodie or them thermal comfy duck sweats, I will link all this down in the description below. Whenever you guys pick up something, it goes directly to helping me bring you guys more of these videos. So thank you all so much for being here. I really enjoyed today. Big shout out to Jordan. Had a blast, y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't.